Hello there! Today we are gonna go inside Scotty's nursery for a little tour. Fun! This wall is my absolute favorite. If you guys follow me and if you guys have watched my vlogs, then you will know that Slater's sister and my sister-in-law Cheryl actually painted this whole mural by hand and it is such a labor of love. I think it took her two to three days to finish this entire wall and it looks absolutely perfect. It's so dreamy, there are whales in the night sky and the little surprise here is if you can spot the elephant that she drew in especially for me as a surprise. Isn't that so cute? This is Baby Scotty's dirty table. This is where we do all of the dirty work, or changing his dirty diapers, his wet diapers. This little contraption was lent to us by my sister-in-law Sim. Thank you so much. We got so much use out of it, and only after six months did we realize that this towel is actually to cover it. Pala. So six months of using this the wrong way, but thank you so much. I love it because Scott can stay here and these little things can prevent him from rolling over. He is such a mover now. He's always rolling around whenever we change his diaper, so this is very, very important. And also I got these three framed illustrations from Mushy. They're so adorable. This is actually all illustrated with watercolor and it shows you how you are feeling and you have all of these different emotions which I hope will help Scotty in the future express himself more. And over here, I like to keep everything neat and tidy. So this is something that I learned from my best friend who is an interior designer. Yan, thank you so much for teaching me this lesson. You put everything in little trays or little containers like this so that it is all neat. Even though you have so many different things here on the counter, it looks like it's all in a set. So these are all of Scott's diapers from Huggies, his wipes his favorite Aveeno Baby Daily Moisturizing Lotion, and his little comb. I know he doesn't have hair yet, but this really makes him feel nice at night when you brush his little scalp. <laughs> now Scott is a baby with a lot of toys, so I made sure that this whole room would have a lot of storage. So he has like full-sized cabinets here that you can see all of the huggies that I'm stuck up on because guys, he really loves Huggies. I mean, I don't even have to change his nappies at night because they don't leak. But look, we have mini hangers and I made them install like short lang, short distance between these two rods because Scott's clothes are so little. Isn't that so cute? I'm not gonna open the other areas because I didn't prepare for you guys to see it, but he has a lot of clothes, guys. So it's all here. And also, this is really cool. We designed this in a way that Scott can grow up still using these tables and shelves. So he, we can actually remove all of these. And in the future, this can be Scott's study table. Isn't that really cool? It's always been my dream to have a neutral colored space for my baby. I know that usually when you have a kid's room, it's rainbow colored and you have all of these primary colors around the room, but I want to make it very clean, very minimalist. Although I know minimalist is never gonna happen because Scott has a lot of toys. So what I did was I made everything white and gray and blue, that's his pop of color. And for all of the things that are rainbow colored, we put them in little boxes like these. And so you can't see that there is so many colors around his room. It doesn't look cluttered, everything is clean. And we put them inside the little shelves here. Voila! This area is probably the most used area for mommy and for Yaya because this is where we sterilize all of Scott's bottles, all of his haka pumps, actually my haka pumps, and all of his teethers. You can see we use Higan here, we use Komotomo, and these are really cool teethers. They're by Mo Yum, which I think is a Korean brand. You stick his finger here and he's like chewing on this, especially now that he's teething. He loves these so much. So we are using right now the Yupang sterilizer, which I love so much because it's so chic, my minimalist dreams, guys. So you open it up here and you have all of my pump parts inside. And this one is something that I bought off Lazada. It's actually a dish drying rack if you're staying in a condo because it's really small and compact, but I use it to store all of Scott's pacifiers, though he doesn't use pacifiers anymore. His teethers little biting gloves which I think are so adorable and these things which are from Mushy as well and he loves when I brush it against his gums. So cute. Look who decided to join us! It's my baby Scotty! 
How are you, love? Show them your t-shirt. He loves to eat bananas. <laughs> he loves to eat bananas. You made your little broccoli fall, baby. He always has a little teether attached to him everywhere. This one is from Ollie and Carol. And it's a little broccoli and he loves it so much. It's dirty, na love. Let's get another one, okay? So, Scott doesn't usually stay in his room during the daytime because we have a little playpen set up for him outside in the living room so he can chill with us when it's daytime. But oh, this is where, yes, this is where I take my naps. This is where I take my naps. In his little cream house bumper bed, which I'll show you right now. He also loves chilling here. Like for example, if we need to do a few errands and he is with us and he just woke up, then he will chill in his little bumper bed and he loves it so much. So this is where we take all of Scotty's naps. It's not your conventional crib, I know, but he loves it so much because whoever is taking care of him can lay down with him for his nap and he loves to cuddle. So this is definitely a better setup for Scott than a crib where he's all alone. Right, Scotty? Right, Scotty? It's your little Santa riding your little rabbit. So these are open shelves that we designed before Scott was born and we didn't know um, oh, how to make it practical for a baby's room. Be right back, guys. Be right back. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh my gosh, this baby's so heavy. He's only six months, but look at this jumbo belly. Jumbo belly, jumbo belly. Bye-bye. Bye, Scott Scott. Okay, guys, I was saying, we designed this before we had Scotty and we didn't know what the room was going to look like in the future but we changed it completely. It used to be very masculine with these pipes and this dark wood. Now it's very very kid friendly with all of Scotty's dolls, his name um, printed in these cute grey wooden characters which I think adds so much character also to the room. and. These are his little stuffed toys. I feel like they're so adorable. I didn't know that they made stuffed toys this cute these days because when I was younger, my stuffed toys were so normy. <laughs> but these are also so chic. So I love using them to play with Scott, but I also love using them as decor. And this is really something special. It was given to us by Camille and Yoni. It is a scale, um, one by one scale of Scott when he was a newborn. So it's 51 inches if not if i'm not mistaken or 51 cm and it has all of scott's details over here which i won't show you for privacy reasons <laughs> but i think it's so adorable so thank you again camille and yoni you guys have amazing amazing taste and this looks so pretty here on scott's wall and congratulations and congratulations you're gonna have your own little nugget soon too there's one thing that is super important in this whole shelf situation over here. It is this video camera that I look at probably about 10 hours to 12 hours in a day. I'm always looking at what Scotty's doing here in his room when I'm not with him. And it's super duper important to have a camera that is reliable, fast, that you can store information in. Um, and I find that this is so reliable, even if it's super duper affordable. This is only like a thousand pesos each. And it's from Xiaomi. It's the Mi Home Camera. And I love it so much. I will put a link in the description box below if I can find it for you guys. Fingers crossed. I'm going to go look for it right after this video. I really feel like this shelf adds so much character, as I mentioned, to Scott's entire nursery. And to be honest, guys, I didn't decorate it. I tried so hard, like three or four times, but it was always rejected. When I sent the photo to my best friend, she said, no, it looks cluttered, it looks dirty. And so I told Slater, love, can you try? Because I've given up. Like, I don't have talent when it comes to designing interiors. And look what he did. It's so nice. I'm so amazed by my husband. He can actually decorate on top of like being a handyman and fixing everything around the house. He has a very artistic eye too. You're welcome. <laughs> and he's also behind the camera, guys. 
So we put some of Scott's little toys inside baskets. Some of my essentials I hide here, things I don't use anymore, like other different kinds of pumps and contraption. Um, there's a little candle that says, calm your tits, mom, which I think I would need to hide when Scott's bigger. <laughs> this is going to be Scott's favorite toy if he takes after his dad. This was given to us by Nino Pachola. Thank you so much. It is a mini engineering set complete with screws and wrench and everything. There's more inside the box. And I think it's perfect because Scott is going to be an engineer like his dad if he wants to be. Um, and I think it's so cute, they can play together. When Scott is bigger, he is going to measure himself up on this wall. I can't wait for that day to come, but also I don't want it to come. I want him to grow up and I'm excited to see all of his little milestones, but at the same time, I want him to stay small forever. I'm sure parents can relate to me. Okay guys, before you go, this is something that's gonna greet you as you enter and exit Scott's room. Little shelves here that we got from Madame Home. We purchased it, it was so affordable. And again, Slater decorated these shelves as well because I honestly have no talent and my decor was so bad. But this looks really, really nice. We put all of Scott's nicer books here, the books that I think he will really enjoy once he's older and he really appreciates stories more. We also put a little clock here, though it doesn't work. I find it so cute because it says Scott Noah. And there's a little whale here too that matches the mural um, of his wall. And there are S, K, and Y characters that Slater and I got when we were still building the Sky Pod. And we put it here because as you all may know, Scott's initials are S, K, Y, Scott, Noah, Young. Alright guys, that was so much fun. I'm so happy that I finally got to tour you guys. I know I promised you this tour for a long time, but you know when you're a mom, it's harder to make videos. I'm so glad that you guys were patient enough to wait for this video though, and I'm so happy that you were able to join me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.